This video is to show you how to create bill of materials and bill of material revisions using Cloud Extend Excel for NetSuite. First, we need to understand what mandatory fields are exposed on your BOM form in NetSuite. For the purpose of this training, I prepared my template with the following fields. I'm going to go ahead and save this and load it into my Excel sheet and start filling up these values as well. I'm going to start with a name. I'm going to put an F in wines in there. For the memo, I'm going to put Friday Night Wines. I'm going to set the component yield to true, together with the available for all assemblies, and I'm going to make it available for all locations as well. And when you're done, you just need to go to Update, hit Upsert Selected Records, and that should generate the NetSuite internal ID on column B. Now, you can use the same logic when you're creating BOM revisions. Just make sure to include the mandatory fields into your template and populate them accordingly. So here's my BOM revision fields right here. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and load it into my sheet. I'm gonna start with selecting the BOM that I just created, which is FN Wines. So for this revision, I'm gonna set it to Wines for January and the memo can be the same. It's entirely up to you what works for you. For the effective start date, I'm going to use January 1st of 2022. I'm going to put the end date to the 30th. And I'm going to set the internal ID to blank because NetSuite will automatically take care of that. The fast forward item, I'm going to send it to the Chardonnay wine. And I'm going to put a quantity of 30 and the source is stock. Now you can add in as many lines as needed. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy the first line and then just paste it on the second line here. Make updates to the name, make sure that it's not the same to avoid that duplicate error. Now I'm gonna set the start date and the effective date to February as well. And I'm not gonna make any changes to the item. I'm gonna leave the quantity and the item source the same as well. I'm gonna hit update, update upsert all selected records and that should create your BOM revision and BOMs. Thanks for watching.